Hello, uh, magandang gabi sa lahat. Uh, Kiara, so it's a great to be here. Um, so thank you very much for this uh, very uh, important uh, program. And um, thank you to Warwick and to Min for those very um, important um, and useful updates. The issues that um, I've been asked to talk about are the, um, I guess, passporting and um, repatriation and other services like the OEC. Okay, uh, first, um, Nayon, um, we expect to be on alert, down to alert level two, um, but just in sum, um, for whatever updates you need to know about embassy services, please check our embassy Facebook, Philippine Embassy in New Zealand and website, but must, we're more updated quickly, uh, quicker uh, so in our uh, Facebook page. Now, um, once we are confirmed by the government that we are an alert level two, um, we will have um, limited reopening. So um, we could, okay, it's not 100% sure, because you should check, because <laughs> we also we have to check uh, with Manila what, what we can do or not do. So uh, as of now, um, Manila is government services, basically with regards to passporting, OEC, NBI are, are closed. So makababayan yung processing nating ng passport, OEC, NBI, tigil muna. But okay, with regards to the embassy, now again, uh, this is just um, uh, preliminary information. You should check our website and our Facebook page what really will be in black and white, uh, the, what services will be available again. So makababayan, pakicheck lang yung uh, aming Facebook page para siguraduhan natin kung anong talagang mga serbisyo na maibigay, mailok ang embassy. Okay, of course, number one is top of everybody's minds, passporting. Okay, um, we prob most probably will reopen for passporting, but um, as with all offices, we have to observe the three S's and we probably will be on very limited hours. So if ever, most probably it's strictly by appointment. So you can't just drop, although we, you know, it's, we'd love to see you, but you can't just drop by the embassy because we will be strict about entrance. You will have to have an appointment. There'll be social distancing. So Suguro will have a limited number of people that can come, but again, it's strictly through appointment. Um, now, even if we can accept your applications and renewals, um, uh, again, processing cannot is still at a standstill in the Philippines. Um, so we, but if you have any particular questions like, ah, your passport is expiring, uh, what can we do? Now, again, we cannot yet, uh, uh, we are not yet, um, we, uh, pro even the, the, the passport applications that we had from our previous submissions before uh, are, are still um, on hold. So you have to check. Now, there's a possibility uh, we may be able to give extensions, but you have to message us in our Facebook Messenger page uh, about your particular case, so case-to-case -case basis. Okay, so mga kababayan, tungkol sa passports nyo, paki-message nyo kami sa Facebook Messenger. Uh, di maamin masabi kung tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang, um, ang well, most likely po, maka-appointment kayo sa, em sa embassy for um, passport um, processing, renewal, etc. But it's strictly by appointment. But uh, again, tigil muna ang processing sa atin. Okay. Uh, number two, OEC. Well, again, uh, that's under Dole PUEA. For now, it's still um, it's still um, on hold. Uh, please check uh, the Dole PUEA websites. And now, as you know, Menanatayong Polo. We now have a Polo in Wellington. Um, please also check their uh, their page for any updates on the OEC. But for now, it's not moving. Also, the NBI clearances are so um, hold muna. Um, so some of you have heard about the $200 um, assistance or ACAP assistance for workers who are displaced. So uh, again, uh, there's a, a, um, a process you have to apply. Um, 
So the you have there's a special Facebook page to to check. It's uh, www.facebook.com slash USD 200 and Z. Anyway, the information is in our Facebook page. But basically, there are two main conditions is that one, you have to have been um, uh, uh, relieved from your work. And number two, you had not received any assistance or subsidy. So wage subsidy is counted as assistance. So if your company has received wage subsidy, and again, the idea, uh, our understanding of web subsidy, that is to compensate for uh, lost wa uh, wages, but that long, long story short, that is considered to be um, a, a assistance coming to you. So anyway, if you are want to explore that, please check the um, the Polo Wellington Facebook page. Um, and uh, we gave the information to our friends from CCR. We can post it again later. Um, now on repatriation, well, one, it what the information that we have is that Philippine Airlines will resume regular flights in June. Now, uh, two weeks ago, we had a repatriation flight back to the Philippines. We had over 180 people register, but only 60 people showed up. So, um, ang tanong dyan, or um, the question is, will we have another repatriation flight? Magkakaroon ba ulit ng repatriation? Well, number one, if you're interested in repatriation, uh, we have, you should register in our where the embassy, we have a, um, a form, a Google Docs form, and the, um, I, I, I can, uh, it's that the link is in our Facebook page, but it is, it is not that easy. Uh, unang una, yung, nag, yung mga nag-avail ng repatriation flight, um, most of them were actually tourists or students. Um, generally, like even in the case of New Zealand citizens coming back to New Zealand, you have to pay. Only in very limited circumstances can we give assistance, but you have to you have to um, apply. That's not guaranteed. Now, uh, in other countries, you see Philippine government uh, sponsoring repatriation flights, but that's because they had large guaranteed numbers. So we need about at least around at least around 150 confirmed uh, passengers, um, but. It seems that uh, we, since uh, this is not guaranteed, but it's important that you register. So, mahalaga po mag-register kayo sa embassy kung nice nyo ma, ma repatriate. So, um, but with the reopening of Philippine Airlines in June, um, it it's less likely that will be special repatriation flights for for New Zealand. Um, now, again, at this point, only, uh, we had to temporarily stop anyone flying back in, but we are reopening, but there's a limited amount of people, flights. Anyway, any flight has to be strictly coordinated through the Philippine government. So as of now, um, there doesn't seem to be any, no, there isn't, as of now, uh, we have requested uh, for repatriation flights, but again, we have to have your confirmed registrations. Okay, so mahalaga po mag-register po kayo sa, uh, sa site namin. So we have one question. Do we want to start with a question? Uh, yeah, uh, we just want to ask us, Amba, before you have the consular in Taupo, and then a lot of candidates had the scheduled there for appointment. Oh, okay. So are we going to resume that on level two or we're going to wait for level one for it to be normal? Thank you. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Salamat sa tanong uh, tungkol sa passport. Siguro, um, we had, meron kaming nakaschedule na tinatawag namin mobile or umupunta kami sa iba-ibang bayan, iba-ibang distrito sa New Zealand, pati sa Pacific Island countries. So yes, we had, uh, we had schedules, but we had to stop the schedule of mobiles outside Wellington, because of the of alert level um, alert level four and alert level three. Now the question is, okay, so passporting is done in two places. 
so in the embassy in Wellington and the mobiles. Okay, again, if we go to alert level four, we will have limit, okay, long story short, sa madaling salita, magkakaroon ole ng passporting kaya lang uh, observing the three S's, so strictly by appointment. So um, we will have, so that's when we go to level two. But the question is, will we continue the mobiles? I think we had scales in Queenstown, in Auckland, et cetera, et cetera. Unfortunately, now this is the effect of COVID-19. We just, this week, we were instructed all embassies around the world had to slash their budgets by 45%. That means we don't have a budget anymore to do mobiles for the next coming months. So unfortunately for now, there are no more, there is no more mobile passporting. It will all be done through Wellington. But to remedy that, we are looking at also opening on some weekends. Okay, so kababayan, pasensya lang po, nakat yung aming budget. So wala na kaming budget pampuntang mobile for the next, siguro hanggang third quarter. Baka sa fourth quarter, or maybe in the fourth quarter, we might start in depending on our financial situation. And um, because nga, gipit na gipit ang budget in the Philippines, the Philippine government budget has prioritized emergency assistance for the victims of COVID, for recovery, for testing, um, you know, and it's not, not cheap mm -hmm. to operate an embassy. So uh, we, we ask for your understanding that um, we, uh, we probably will not have, uh, well, we were not definitely in the next few months, no more mobiles just in Wellington. Now, those passports that have been, pro have been submitted, unfortunately, uh, it's still on hold because passporting processing has stopped in the Philippines. So, magkababayan kayo nag-apply dati sa mga mobile namin o sa embassy at hindi nyo po natanggap ang passport, pasensya lang po, naka-hold muna dahil tigil muna ang pagtrabaho sa passport sa Pinas. Yeah, so just on um, the basis of passport renewals, um, we also have a lot of um, offshore candidates that are wanting to get MBIs or even people in New Zealand that are waiting on MBIs as well to enable them to process their renewal of their visas. Is there under lockdown changes and, and assuming that um, Manila or the Philippines goes to uh, eases their lockdown come middle of May, will the possibilities of obtaining MBIs once government departments start operating again um, be processing or happening in the near future? Well, we really uh, thank, thank you, Warren, for that question. Well, you know, we, uh, NBI is completely out of our hands. It's with the NBI. We're just like a, literally like a post office box. So it really depends on Manila. So as of now, um, we, as of now, no, even, so we have to wait for Manila. And yes, at the earliest, it would be sometime, um, well, again, we just have to wait and see when NBI does reopen again. But as soon as we do, we'll, we'll post it on our, our Facebook page and our, and our website. But for now, no, even, so even if we go back on alert level two, that's New Zealand, it, we have to wait for what happens in Manila. That's right. Yeah. So same with passports, I suppose, you know, you can do what you can do here, but we are dependent on Manila and what happens over right. there in terms of their lockdown as well, yeah? Right. Mga kababayan, our, our dear friends, just please check our Facebook page for updates on any issues that with regard to um, our services and what's going on. So that's, uh, yeah, just Google in Facebook, Philippine Embassy in New Zealand. And thank you for this opportunity to, to meet with all of you. And um, I look forward to actually more dialogues like this. So, uh, so mga kababayan, sa uh, ulitin po. Let's, uh, and keep, keep safe, stay strong. Uh, kia kaha, God bless.